tonight on KRCB Live. Petaluma Folk Acoustic Band, The Highway Poets. And alternative rock band, Salty DeVito. That's all tonight on KRCB Live. We're the Highway Poets, and welcome, welcome to, to KRCB, KRCB Live. Live. <laughs> One, two. Well, fear it burns like beauty skin deep. Oh, the devil's tall when he sings to me. I said, Satan, hell no need to be a liar. You ain't never saw when no angels cry. I see heaven, low heaven, you're all what you are. To some you're close, Lord, to some you are far. But when the angels come, they come to take our chains. You can't last forever, but you can always sing. Oh. They're gonna push you till you're dead or till you're good enough Well, you ain't good at all, but then the high will break you bound to fall, live to see another day I say heaven, low heaven, you are what you are To some you're close, low, to some you are far But when the angels come, they come to break our chains You can't last forever, but you can always sing Oh They come to break our chains You can't last forever But you could always sing Oh
Sebastian, but uh, in the Hobbit Poets, I'm uh, Johnny Haggard, and you can call me Doc if you want to. I'm Travis James in real life, uh, but Jimmy James Black is my punk rock cowboy name. <laughs> my name is Shane Schlick, and my band name with the Poets is Dead Del Walker. Taylor James, and uh, stage name is Jack Rooney. Almost a year ago, in March actually, we uh, were on tour for a month with our other band, uh, Hillside Fire, and we ended up writing all these songs after the show, and we started making up fake names, and it all came from the being on the highway, so all these songs were pretty much written from the highway, being tired. It's about being on the road, it's about everything yeah. we've, we've done in the past couple years, and about, you know, what we're gonna do, <laughs> I guess. Mm -hmm. Basically, wrote all the songs on tour uh, for this album, and we recorded all the songs in our living room, so it's the it's the perfect contrast of exactly who we are. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these songs were kind of conceived after our Hillside Fire shows, after the rock shows. We'd have after parties at our house where, you know, we'd be jolly, having drinks, playing bluegrass music, just naturally kind of letting these things evolve. And thus the name of the album is Stay Till Dawn because we would stay up till dawn, you know, right, playing music. acoustic music after these rock shows. So. And we're influenced by everything, everything around us. So, I mean, even like, Deaf Poetry Jam is a huge influence <laughs> on us, you know. So it's, uh, I mean, we, and we take it all in. And, yeah, and poetry. We're, we like to think that um, we, we care a lot about the words we're saying more than um, maybe uh, how well we're playing. Even though we care about that too. When we first started doing it, we were saying bluegrass, but I think as we realized more and more, as we fell in love more and more with bluegrass and learned more about it, we wouldn't even feel good calling it bluegrass because it's, in, it's inspired and influenced by it heavily. We're not like bluegrass players necessarily. The guys yeah, are really good to play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're just kind of faking it. You know? <laughs> we, we really like bluegrass, but uh, I think we're influenced by everything else besides bluegrass mostly. Yeah. Folk, I, mean, I feel like, is a, is a more common term used, to, I guess, more because of our songwriting, I guess. Yeah, High Post came from us all living together in Sonoma County, seeing the scene and everything, so it actually it develops within us. So Sonoma County is the huge inspiration up there, as well as Death Poetry Jam. And, <laughs> Michael, yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael Jackson. <laughs> we all write together, but yeah. Sebastian is the the gift, the gifted one. <laughs> he, he he's the best with um, really putting lyrics and, and feelings down on in a, with chords, you know, and like and making you really feel at home with the, the songs, you know. And then we all just obviously work together and do what we can to kind of put our own it, it notch is a, on it, you know. But it's it is everybody. I might do the four musketeers. I might do the legwork on paper, but actually. These guys say a lot of epic things all the time, and I steal their brains yeah. for almost everything. <laughs> so it's like, it's all of us. It's all of us. It's the Four Musketeers. Uh, yeah. Without a care 
What's up, we're Salty DeVito, this is KRCB Live. Salted Vito, Sonoma County, San Francisco band. This is Dane Steffi on guitar. My name is Jonathan on acoustic. This is our amazing singer, Allie Field. Marco on piano and guitar. Lance Drummer singer. Chris Farrell on bass. We're all uh, from Sonoma County, with the exception of Marco. He's from New York City. We picked him up on the road six months ago, and he's joined the family. Hitchhiking. <laughs> Allie and I were working on music together. We went down to LA to kind of meet some other people like-minded uh, in the arts and entertainment. We found these guys and everyone happened to be from Sonoma County. These guys went to Windsor, Rancho Gortati, she went to uh, uh, San Rosa High? Carrillo. Carrillo, Rio Carrillo. And we just met up in LA and ended up coming back here and recorded uh, our debut album. And we decided to stay. We were looking for a name that wouldn't describe our music, like categorize it necessary, because all of us have different tastes. So we didn't want you to see our name and know what kind of music it was, because we plan on doing a lot of different stuff in the future. So. Um, this name that we it came about, it's kind of a sad story. If you go check out our logo on saltedevito.com, you'll know what I'm talking about. We had a cat named Salta DeVito. It died in the studio, unfortunately, and we've uh, decided to carry that name on with us and use it as our band name. Just something interesting. It's a kitty legacy. <laughs> we like to describe our music as uh, rock and roll cake with pop frosting. Um, we like writing poppy songs. If you notice, uh, it's a little bit more grittier than your average pop song. We like to tackle uh, topics that aren't on, you know, normal top 40 billboard hits. And that's the whole salty veto thing too, the whole saltiness. We kind of like to have a little bit more of a sarcasm, something a little bit more darker in this seemingly pop music. We all probably have like a lot of different influences. 
in the project that we all try to bring to it. Led Zeppelin, so, <laughs> that Queen. Yeah, but also like a lot of 90s like structure and stuff like that, I'd say. Yeah, um, a lot of the rock and roll stuff. I would say, yeah. I, I would say Fiona Apple, Marilyn Manson, The Beatles, Oasis, <laughs> uh, The Strokes, David Bowie. Pretty diverse. Definitely. Face politics though, we want to like talk a lot about yeah, we didn't really the stuff that's happening today. Like, it does make us angry sometimes, and you gotta have music that will emote that. But also about being in the moment, you know, like yeah. that's most most of us are all about like being here, like in the moment, and like just kind of appreciating how fortunate we are to like yeah. be doing this, you know, yeah. like political, yeah, but we also have 
our feet on the ground, you know. So we didn't play any political stuff for this. So that was the goal. Make a message, make it poppy, so people will hum it. You know, they'll, they'll be caught in their head, but trying to get a message across. About six months ago, <laughs> we did our record at uh, Prairie Sun Recording Studios in Katati with uh, engineer Matt Wright. Prestigious studio. Amazing. Very, very nice place. We, we played about uh, we played there for about a year, or we recorded there for about a year, um, and about six six months ago, we released the album. It's on iTunes and everything, so that's probably the best accomplishment so far that we've done in the past couple of years. Way over budget. Way, <laughs> way over budget. But, but it totally was, worth it, it, it and yeah. we were really proud of it. Yeah. Exciting. Again, you can find that record at saltedefeat.com. <laughs> we're on iTunes, but we're capable of, you can buy directly from us, the artists. Um, that's the best way to support local music. See more online at krcb.org slash krcblive. Whoa!